been talking to all kind of artists, platforms, producers. I don't, man, I didn't talk to managers. Whatever, you know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> what's going on? And we talking to this lovely young lady. She's on deck. What's up? Holla my people. Let them know what's going on, baby. Hey, yo, this be your girl, Million Dollar Shit, a.k.a. Kiwi Making Millions. I'm from Compton, California, and I'm out here doing my big one. All right, West Side is in the building. What's going on? Period. All right, so this is the first time you ever been to South by? Yes, this is my very first time being here. Um, thank you to the Girls on the Scene Tour. I just signed the deal with them. Uh -huh. And it's a women empowerment that I just signed to, where it's a lot of different entrepreneurs, as far as if you're a um, model, artist, any kind of entrepreneur in the industry. We travel all over the world, and we showcase our talent. And yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, so what do you think about, since so this is your first time at South by Southwest, what do you think about it as a whole? Um, the people are extremely nice. Um, I'm networking with a lot of people. I'm touching um, bases with a lot of people I couldn't interact with probably on social media. So actually coming here in person and tapping into the industry on a whole nother level is like, it's an amazing experiment, experiment for me especially being from Compton, California, where we're overlooked. Um, this is a great opportunity, and I recommend all underground artists to, you know, come to this. Yeah. This is important. So let's talk about you as an artist, you know what I'm saying? Um, music, yes. music-wise. What's the name of the song that you got on a single, your lead single? What's the name of it? Well, right now, I just um, I just created the anthem to Girls on the Scene. Okay. And um, I'm going to drop it on all major platforms. Right now, I'm trying to get a feature going. I don't know if it's either going to be with Tommy or Sukiyana, but those are the people I'm looking at right now. And um, I just I just want to put this project out, and I just want the industry to know that it's real women out here on the scene that's working hard, and we're trying to be in this industry for a long time. All right. So when you say that, as, as you, you said you got woman empowerment as a part of the platform that you're on. Yes. What, what's what's the one thing that you feel like if you could just snap your fingers and change when it comes to in relation to being a woman in the industry, but out, outside of the obvious that people want to sleep with you for favors? That's it, the easy answer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What else would you What else would you would, would you change if you could overnight? Um, I probably would change um, probably all the women just being themselves, not changing anything as far as their appearance. Just be themselves, come different. Like, you know, everybody's kind of similar, so it's hard to find really good, good, good women that's standing out. Um, I'm a firm believer of um, not, like, changing anything on my body, just giving them all the natural look okay. and the raw that's, talent. So That's, that's, that's different because yeah. we, we in the BBL era, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, if we're going to be taking over the industry, we need a diverse of different people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. not the same. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, you know, a lot of people, I, I don't, I don't know if I feel, I'm, a, I'm neutral with it, but I've all, a lot of people feel like women don't get along. Women get, have more beef than More men. unity, of course. Yeah. That's why um, with the girls on the scene, like, it's all women over the world. Like, you can be on the West Coast, the South Coast, the East Coast, whatever coast. Um, we are sticking together. We're touring together. We're even going overseas. Like, it's no limits. We're international women, and we're supporting each other, whether whatever we're doing we, in the industry, even if you're not of the industry. If you're a doctor or a lawyer, you're on the scene, and you're putting in that hard work, and we believe that you can change the world and the new generation because that's the people that we do it for. Okay. Well, I would definitely want, I, I feel like, you know, women empowerment is a, is a big thing, you know what I'm saying? And, and I just seen lately, you, you you see a lot of the, especially the female artists, when they go on Tip Attack online, you feel? Yeah. especially the, when they post the, the upper echelon ones, the ones, and, and of course, that's a shining example that people see, the young women see it that's coming up behind them and they beefing it. You know, doing all yeah, this that's not the way to go. Yeah. Especially me, like I um, audition for the Baddies West season three, uh -huh. so um, I'm definitely on that segment. If you guys could check out the Baddies, it was really like it was an amazing experience, but um, it wasn't the route for me to go because at the end of the day, I'm more about unity right. and empowerment, and um, that platform was like very toxic, and those girls <laughs> yes. were really rough. Yeah. So um, I think I didn't get picked because they see that in me. Right. You know, um, they already know I have the talent, you know, um, I'm I really outside, for real, for real, right. this ain't no gimmick, I'm really from Compton, and I believe in myself, right. and I know what I want in this industry, and they know that.
that, you know? So when they see that, you know, they're trying to protect me because they know that they want me to go down the right route. So um, joining the Girls on the Scene tour, shout out to Mariah. Mariah, she's the founder of Girls on the Scene. She's giving me this opportunity. She's from um, Mississippi. So for me being from Compton and she's way over there and she put me on, and um, it's just been amazing. I'm That's here cool. because of her, so. Absolutely. Yeah, and this cool. is Girls on the Scene outfits too that we're out here, you know, giving out and, um, you know, just letting people know we outside. All right, that's what's up. Well, listen, yeah. man, I want you to make sure to give out your social media so people can find you. Maybe some young woman sees this interview and they want to be empowered and they want to connect and be on that same vibe. What's your social media? My social media on all major platforms, it's Million Dollar Shit. So you spell M-I-L-L-I-O-N-D-O-L-L-A-H-S-H-Y-T. Million Dollar Shit everywhere, okay? I'm outside, period. All right. Cable 100 Radio, make sure you tap in with the mama. She doing her thing, man. Salute. Hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button too as Shout well. Shout out to K100. K100 Radio.